Good morning, everyone. It's week two. Um, it's Monday, September 12th. My name is Jameson from Lessons with Coffee. Welcome. Uh, if you're new here, hi. I teach uh, fifth and sixth grade in Minnesota, an elementary setting, split, um, self contained. <laughs> So it's Monday, um, I got my slides for today done, I did not get my slides for the rest of the day done, or the week done, but, um, yeah, um, yesterday was 9-11, so are we allowed to, hi for those, um, so we are going to read the book Fireboat by Myra Coleman. Um, and then I saw Fancy Nancy, uh, Nancy Chung do a, um, cool, like, writing activity, so we're going to do that. We're doing, we're switching for math today for the first time, so we're going to do, like, a math about me. Um, Mostly just kind of organizing our spaces so that we can switch for math is what we're doing this morning. Um, we are starting bike safety, so we're going over um, ABC Quick Check um, and like the basic parts of a bike. Um, and I don't know if other schools do bike safety. I haven't heard of any other schools do bike safety, but that's all I got for you right now. I'll check in with you either before school here in like an hour or at prep. Hey, so morning went good. We switched for math. Uh, we didn't have each other for the whole day. So um, only had them for part of the day or part of the time that we would normally have them. Um, so math, I mostly just made sure everybody had supplies and then we did the like math about me so like all of these numbers are something so like that's my birthday that's how many years i've been in the district house number sorry house number uh the boys' birth years i have two pets i met my husband and i've lived in four states and two countries um and then they did one i'm trying to cover her name let's see what i can find to cover <laughs> Um, I don't know who this is. It's a freebie though, so I'll link it. But then they did one. Um, this afternoon I'm doing bike safety. And, um, yeah, we're reading the book Fireboat. Hey, so it's the end of the day. Um, today was a crazy day. Um, I think kids, like, there wasn't that much of a honeymoon, and, like, they're showing me their true colors, which is fine. They're, like, silly little kids, and I would take silly little kids over, like, rude and disrespectful kids um, any day. So, um, we did, uh, let's see if that'll work. We did, um, so after lunch, we did bike safety. Um, so I have the bike in there, and, um, we talked about, oh, you can see it right there, the ABC quick check. <laughs> and then we did this worksheet where they had to like fill out the parts of the bike. Um, and then tomorrow we're doing like the laws, like I said, um, and like the hand signals and that kind of stuff. Um, then we watched a video on YouTube about like the water rescue that happened after 9-11. So a lot of my kids, I'm sure, have watched The Brain Pop by now. So there's a really great, T Tom Hanks na narrates it. And it's a really great video about, like, how just anybody that had a boat started rescuing people. And it went really well with the, um, the fireboat book that we read because 
Um, at first, when the fire boat wanted to go out and help, they were like, well, you can't help put out fires. You're too old, but you can help ferry people. And then they were like, no, we need you. If you think that you can put out fires, like put out fires. So then anybody else that had a boat, so like party boats and um, carriage boats and steamboats and like any sort of boat was just taking people from the island and getting them off of the island. So um, kids got really into that. And then we did... Um, this project that Nancy Chung posted about, but it's not actually Nancy Chung's and you can buy the product. I did not. I just kind of um, like based off of what Nancy's picture was, but um, I'll link the product, but it's like this little fold pop out thing. And um, so after we watched the video and the video, they really talk about hi. Okay, sorry, my coworker came in and yeah. So anyway, um, so we made these and they're like pop-ups. And so we talked about how um, like the people that drove the boats, they were everyday heroes. They weren't like a fireman or anything like that. They were just everyday people. And so they had to think about everyday heroes. So I just took the prompt, um, heroes are everywhere. And so she said, the guy that helps clean the park by where I live, um, he always makes sure that we have a clean place to play. So things like that. Um, then that took most of the day. So we really struggled with that. So um, today was um, National Video Game Day. And hang on. And we have a subscription to Super Science by Scholastic. So this was supposed to happen today, but it didn't. Um, so they're going to do that tomorrow. And then I was going to let them play a video game on their iPad, but it took them 45 minutes to cut four lines. So... Oh, you know, give and take. Um, tomorrow I have to read. We actually have an author coming to visit us. So we have um, Matt De La Pena um, who's coming and he wrote like Last Stop on Market Street, um, Patchwork, um, uh, Milo Imagines the World, and then this one, which is Love. Um, so I have to read this one, um, and it's really cool because our kids get, like, a super discounted book, um, and we, um, get them too, and we can get them autographed, so I'm really excited about that, so tomorrow I have to make a slide and show, like, who he is, a little bit about him, and then that will be our read aloud tomorrow. Otherwise, I have other things that I have to plan. I got to finish my bike slides for tomorrow. Math, we were just talking about that math um we're gonna start with like my favorite or not my favorite no we're gonna start with which one of these doesn't belong and double triple quadruple questions and really get kids like talking to each other because um we're really big on cgi so we're gonna do that and then otherwise that's all i got i gotta go pick up my kids happy monday it was a whirlwind bye 110 percent forgot to tell you while i'm sitting at this red light I have a new student and they don't speak English, so they speak Spanish. So my Spanish is gonna get a lot better and his English is gonna get a lot better this year. Yay, that's all. Good morning, it's Tuesday. Um, I have a quick meeting with my team, so I'm gonna run over there, but um, I just thought I'd say hi. Uh, I gotta figure out what I'm doing for math, but uh, I'm doing the love book for Read Aloud. We're doing the um, Scholastic Magazine. And then I really need to start doing like reading stamina. So we're, I found this really cute like poster that we're going to start doing. So that's about all I know right now. I'm going to go figure out what my teen wants. Tuesday doesn't have a lot of footage today. Uh, we did um, the read aloud and um, we did more bike safety, which is so bizarre. But we did more bike safety. So we did um, like hand signals and signs like on the road and then um we did some silent reading my kids got five minutes in before they started talking so tomorrow our goal is to be five minutes um and then oh we started to put our like language arts notebooks together and um but then we had to go to spark so yeah Tomorrow, though, uh, we are not switching for math, so I don't have to plan any math. And we have to take the A reading test, which is like a half hour long test. 
So my plan is tomorrow morning to kind of catch up on some of the things that I haven't gotten done in the afternoons. And then in the afternoon, we have our first like bike um, day. So they are going out and um, riding the bikes. And then I have tomorrow is like National Colorful Day. So we're going to try to do a watercolor project if our teacher will give me watercolors. Um, where they paint like watercolor. And then uh, they're going to type up like an I am poem. And I'll print those out and then take a picture of them and I'll print those out and then they put themselves on their watercolor and their poem on their watercolor. So um, we're going to do that. I'll show you those obviously tomorrow. But um, yeah, I'm going to clean up a little bit and then I'm going to go pick up the boys and I'll see you tomorrow. morning it's Thursday um, September 14th uh, I'm really late and uh, I stopped at caribou because why not and they changed the uh, app around and I like muscle memory did my order and I somehow ordered this atrocity gross Sarah, one of my followers. Uh, she's also my friend. Uh, she will be laughing because I make fun of people who love pumpkin spice so much. I do not love the pumpkin spice. Um, it's too sweet and um, it's just too sweet. It leaves a gross film on my teeth and I prefer my vanilla latte. What is this car doing? Anyway, um, with that in mind, because this car is, I have zero idea what this car is doing. Um, I am going to talk to you when I get to school. Good morning. The kids are at art. Um, we had a good morning. We finished setting up our, like, ELA notebooks. We do have to put the label, but... I have to print them, uh, so we do have to put the label on the cover, but um, we'll get there. Um, so we put in our tab for mentor sentences, um, word studies, and uh, writing drafts, and then we took the, um, our school uses FastBridge uh, A-Reading and A-Math test, so we had to take the A-Reading test. Um, which is like a progressive diagnostic test to kind of say like where kids are at for reading and like projecting like where they're going to be at the end of the year. And that was about all we did this morning. So um, we have our half hour break in between specials and lunch where we're going to do a read aloud. Um, and I'm going to have them watercolor this piece of paper. Um, I don't know what book I'm going to read, but I think today is just going to be a read aloud, um, that we will figure out uh, what the theme is, um, while they do their watercolor painting. Um, this afternoon they're going to write their poem that goes with their watercolor painting and then, um, take a picture, um, so that we can kind of finish those up tomorrow. The, um, I will have to print those and then they can cut and put them onto their watercolor tomorrow. Um, and then we're gonna go ride our bikes because since we're bike safety still, um, but then we go ride the bikes. And then um, if we have any time left at the end of the day, I think I had, uh, let's see, what did I have? 
Oh, we do have to do our mentor text. Um, but if we had any time at the end of the day, we were going to just do a little bit more independent reading. But they already did some independent reading today because of the test when they got done. That was their job. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing today. Um, it's kind of what we're doing today. So, uh, I got two new carts. I rearranged the classroom just a little bit. Um, so I added in two more carts just so kids don't have to like get physically get up out of their desk. I still think I need to kind of rearrange a little bit more. Um, ideally I would like my desk back even further so we could have like a full, like everybody is up here for a read aloud if I wanted them to be. Um, but right now I don't, I let them choose if you want to come sit up here or not. So anyway, I got to get some work done. So I'll see you in a little bit. Good morning it's thursday i think yes it's thursday um september 15th um i'm starting in here because i have a lot to do um i didn't really get prepared for yesterday or, or for today yesterday um my son um, has been, if you've been following me on Instagram, you kind of know this, but, um, my son has some sensory issues and, um, uh, I got a phone call at about 2.30 that he had basically spent the whole day in the principal's office and, um, he was just unable to regulate his body. So, um, I had to leave like right after buses to go pick him up. Um, so I wasn't able to do that. And then, um, I went and, uh, had some blood work done, um, to kind of check my levels for a couple of different things. One being my thyroid. So I have hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's and, um, I'm missing half my thyroid. So, uh, one of it was to just kind of check that. And then the other part was to just, just kind of check everything else just to make sure everything was fine. So I had to take Theodore to um, my appointment. So unfortunately, yesterday was the day that Jake was supposed to pick up the kids. So I would have had a little bit more time after school to like get some stuff done, but I had to go pick up Theodore early. So um, yeah, um, we're switching back for math today. So I really need to go figure out what I'm doing for math. Um, this afternoon, we're finishing our poem. Uh, and then, um, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. Um, that's kind of where I'm at. I don't really know what else I'm doing right now. Um, I'm kind of in a funky space right now, not because of kids, but just kind of everything personal life. That's kind of, my husband's been gone a lot and now we're having the like sensory issues. So I think I might have to. Seek out some like occupational therapy for Theodore. Um, he doesn't have these episodes very often, but when he does, they're really bad. Um, so I think that we just need some extra help, like with those skills that he clearly doesn't have. So he'll go like two, three weeks and then he'll just have a day where it's like yesterday and he doesn't know how to cope. Um, I've tried as best as I can with like pressure points, um, circle breathing, that kind of stuff, but. Yeah, so anyway, a lot on my mama teacher brain and I think being a teacher and a mom is really hard because, you know, you see what other schools are doing um, and you're like, that's not how I would do it. But so you're not trying to step on toes, like you're wanting them to be professionals because that's what we want is I want people to treat me like a professional. So. I don't want to overstep, I don't want to overprotect, and I don't want to underserve either my student, or my my son, sorry, nor do I want to do that for my students, but yeah, so anyway, um, I'll try to check back with you at specials. Hello, uh, it is recess time, actually, I spent most of my prep getting more bikes out um, for this afternoon for our um, bike safety stuff. Um, things are going really good. Um, this morning we, 
uh, switched again for math. So in math class, we did this from beyondtheworksheet.com, which is Lindsay Perrell. Um, the class of your name. Um, and uh, we did two more number talks. I got them logged into Schoology. And that's about all I did. Um, and then for, then they went to specials. Then for read aloud, we did back to school rules. And we decided that it is, the theme is teamwork and cooperation. And right now I've just been putting the names of the books on post-it notes until I get my life together and print off the covers of the books. Um, this afternoon, we are going to work on our, we're gonna work on our poem. Um, we are gonna go do bikes. We have a Thursday challenge. Um, so our Thursday challenge is so we have this dumb trophy that goes between our teammates and we do classroom challenges. And uh, the class that wins gets to keep the trophy for the week. It's kind of nerdy, kind of whatever. But so this week uh, we have, they have to try to list every single kid in each class. So they have five minutes. They have to work as a team, come up with a strategy and try to name every kid in each of the four classes. So um, that's our Thursday challenge. And um, and then we're gonna maybe do some independent reading and it's probably about all we're gonna get done in the afternoon. Oh, we have to revise our um, mentor sentence. So I think for today, I am just going to have them find uh, synonyms um, that makes the sentence not change its meaning. So uh, I'm probably just gonna give them about five minutes to revise and then we'll do five minutes of sharing. Um, and then that's probably about it. Um, yeah, that's probably about it. So I'll probably just check back with you. I gotta, I have about 10 minutes that I can eat here. So I will uh, chat with you after school. Good morning, it's Friday. Happy guacamole day. I brought guacamole for my kids. They're gonna be super excited. Um, unfortunately though, one of my coworkers is out, so that means that we're splitting her class. So I'm gonna have eight more students in my class today. So I kinda had to figure out like, where am I gonna put them? Um, we'll get it figured out. Um, I know that our secretary is working on finding a sub from a different building or somebody that um, can like support, but that's kind of what it is. So um, happy second Friday of school. Um, otherwise, uh, because I have extra kids, I have to change up my plans a little bit. Like we were gonna finish our poem uh, today, but we're not because uh, my coworkers' kids, and actually it's the coworker that I can like say her name and stuff, so Carly's kids can't um, do that activity because they weren't here. Um, so um, I have to do that, but otherwise the rest of my day is pretty much, I can just do it um, just with an extra eight kids. Um, so for the most part, we're pretty much on par with like what we're doing in class. So, um, that's kind of nice. Uh, we kind of like slip in our own projects or like that kind of stuff. But, um, generally speaking, we're all kind of doing the same topics. So, um, it's not like my kids know stuff that her kids don't and or they're, you know, vice versa. So, but because of that, um, I spent most of my morning, um, making sub plans for a sub that's not gonna be here, and then um, ne then rearranging my classroom to fit in eight more kids. So I need to take the next uh, 15 minutes to get my own life prepped. And uh, yeah, I will check back with you on specials and go from there. Bye. Oh my God, it's chaos, chaos. Uh, we did a really fun activity, though, and I'll have to...
Ah. It was like these questions right here that have no numbers on them. And they had to sort them into, are they addition, division, that kind of stuff. And so it was nice because I do have fifth and sixth graders in my class. So it was nice that it was accessible even for fifth graders or accessible to both fifth and sixth graders or it wasn't too easy for the sixth graders. So we did that this morning and um, then we did some task cards where they get to put the numbers in. So they choose the numbers that they want to choose. So it could be as easy as they needed it to be or as hard as they made it want to be. And then we went to music, but music is done. So I got to go pick them up and we're going to do a read aloud today. We are reading Vamos, well, Let's Go Eat. And then it's recess and lunch. So see you later. Today was the day. Um, having that many kids in this class was really tough. So we kind of talked as a team afterwards and we're going to change a couple of things that like if. So like none of us were prepared for it because we thought we were going to have a sub even though there wasn't one at the end of the night because um, our principal made it seem like we were maybe going to have a sub. So we decided as a team that some things that we need to do is make like a, okay, if by eight o'clock at night, the night before we don't have a sub, we're just going to call it and just assume we're going to absorb the class. Uh, something that we decided also was if we absorb classes, we're going to do the sub plans. Um, so everybody's kind of on the same page. Um, And sorry, I lost my train of thought. Because what ended up happening was we came into work, figured out we had to absorb the class. And so then we were trying to decide, well, what do we do? And so we said, well, we'll just kind of keep doing what we were going to do with our kids. But then we were like, oh, wait, we have to change some stuff because stuff that like Carly did were just not stuff that I was doing and vice versa. So we decided that as a team, like our sub plans from here on out will be like generic, but like generally the same. So like we'll always have um, like a um, uh, who was like history thing. We'll always have um, like a brain pop or a Bill Nye science. We'll always have kind of something like that. So it follows the same structure. And then if if we don't get a sub, we will just do those same sub plans. So it's all three classes are doing the exact same sub plan. Um, so then that way it's like we don't really have to replan everything. We use that teacher's sub slides. We use that teacher's like all of the packets that they make. Um, some other things that we talked about where there was a couple of kids, like, so if Carly's ever out again, there's a couple of kids that need to be in a different room. So like I had two kids that were just at each other's throats all day long. And what it really did was it disturbed like the classroom community that I normally have. So my normal class was just off their rocker because it wasn't our normal, like, um, it wasn't our normal schedule that I also need to figure out a plan for seating when I have to add another 10 kids into my class because I had five kids on the floor which they said that they were fine with but it was just excuse my French a shit show there was like pencils on the floor my ottomans got pushed everywhere kids were tripping on each other it was just too much so I have to figure out a better plan for when I have kids um that are just here. So um, I have some ideas, but I need to be more on the ball with that. So those are my kind of two things that I need to have in the back of my pocket because another coworker, a different one, not Carly, a different coworker is going to be gone next Friday. And if it stands the way that it is, nobody wants to sub at our school. Um, we teach in more of an urban environment with maybe more behaviors and um, nobody wants to sub here, especially in intermediate. It sucks. So, um, yeah. So I need to be prepared for next Friday to have the same thing. Anyway, it was guacamole day. Um, so we all had some guacamole and that was fun. 
Um, we, at the end of the day, we made like those goal sheets that I was talking about. Um, and then we did this thing with like ink and textiles that we found on education.com. Uh, this student did a really great job with their ink and textile. Uh, this one was trying a little bit harder. Um, but, um, so we did something with ink and textiles and, um, yeah. So my room is a disaster and I need to clean it up. So I will throw you on a little bit of, um, um, time lapse and then I'll come back and close you out for a second week of school. Okay, so I got a permanent spot for my student that also started new today. So I don't know if I even said that. Yeah, that happened. Um, and moved the desk around a little bit so they fit a little bit better. So I'm going to take a picture of my desk or arrangement so I can make an actual like seating chart. Um, I finally got this to work. It's not great, but I finally got it to work. So that's exciting. Hopefully next week I can get some other things kind of organized um, because I'm feeling very unorganized in many other capacities of my life right now, as far as my teaching life goes. So this pisses me off. Anyway, I'll get over it. Um, that's it. Hope you have a great day. Um, that was the second week of school. Friday was a little chaotic, but we made it. I have zero idea. There's my car keys. I was like, I have zero idea where my car keys are. Um, yeah, so um, thanks for sticking around, and we'll see you next week for week three. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit subscribe. I'm sorry. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more, make sure you hit subscribe. Um, it's been fun. And also let me know in the comments if there's anything specific that you want me to talk about or uh, that you would like to see videos about. So I hope you have a great day.